Hi, my name's Ian Stevens. I work in the UK for the ABB Open Control Systems and I'm going to give you a broad overview of the Series 800 control system from ABB. ABB has a wide scalable range of control systems that include PLC, SCADA and DCS. And it's the same base for programming, it's the same base for the hardware and it's the same base for the software. So it's same, same, same. So what I'm going to do now is show you how all of that fits together in either a PLC, SCADA or a DCS configuration. We start at the low end HMI which is process panels. We have a range of process panels, there's nine, we have two on show here. We have the function key type process panel and we have the touch screen type process panel. Touch screen process panel has exactly the same software in this here, it's just you touch the screen instead of you touching the function keys. We have alarm management, security with many levels of passwords, multi-language support, import of bitmaps as well as using the standard object type graphics that can be used in the system. We have alarm control, fully featured trend system and recipe control. All the panels are programmed using the same Panel 800 software. We now move to the controllers. We have a range of scalable controllers. So basically you pick the controller you want for the job. It's the same software that's in the controllers and it's the same I.O. that sits on the controllers as whether it's a PLC or a DCS. The controllers have various types of I.O. We're going to start with the S800L range which is for vibration type applications typically used in an underground application. We have a general purpose I.O typically used in food and beverage. We have the Zone 2 I.O. which would typically be used in a chemical, pharmaceutical type industry. And we have the Zone 1 I.O. which is used oil and gas type applications. So the standard features on the controllers would be card slot, dual ethernet, dual RS-232. Each controller has the ability of supporting 12 communications modules that could be Profibus, Foundation Field Bus, Heart, Drives, Serial. You basically select the module you want and you can have redundant modules if necessary. We have a pair of redundant controllers here. And you see here we have primary controller and this is in dual control. This is connected to the controller below. It's redundant pair by a standard cable. If we fail the power on the primary controller you'll see that all the lights go out and then we go down to the lower controller you will see this is now gained primary control so straight away next scan plans carry on running really high availability if we move up to the safety type applications in oil and gas or burner management we have a SIL3 controller with a safety module with its range of SIL3 IO on the field bus side, the Profibus can be used for drives, it can be used for IOs. As we said there, we've got the Profibus IOs there. We have some Profibus DP to PA converters down here, and we have Foundation Field Bus linking device here. So we have all the communications possible for field buses. We have built in heart in the IO modules, and we also have a full range of power supplies from 2 amps to 20 amps and including redundant power supplies and a voting module. Thank you.